Reef boys and girls, how we doing? Jordy Josh back here again. Newcastle United versus Liverpool. The big game, a very anticipated game as well. It's going to be so hard to even pick a winner because Liverpool done the double over last season. Let's not forget that. But anyways, match preview. If you don't know who I am by now, my name's Jordy Josh. I'm mostly big over on TikTok. I've got 33,000 followers over there. Mostly Magpies covering every single bit of Newcastle United content that you could even think of, whether it's transfers or new players coming in. A match preview, literally anything. But... A match preview, Newcastle United versus Liverpool. Let's get straight into it. Now, let's start off with the basics. Of course, Liverpool did do the double over us last season. It's not something we like to see. The game at Anfield, that is very, very questionable. Whether you're an opposition fan who doesn't like Liverpool or a Newcastle fan, that did get under our skin. As well as talking about getting under our skin, Jurgen Klopp is a big factor in that as well. But let's not put it past them. We really want to win this game. We really, really want revenge on these lot. They run them out so much in... Oh, in Gets me so annoyed. Yet again, this is what I was going to get onto. They are a very good team. Whether it's Trent Alexander Arnold, who is always great against us, whether he's scoring free kicks or he's scoring from ages away. But one thing I really like to pick up with with Trent Alexander Arnold, he picks up them passes that just go straight through Botman and Shaw. I've seen it so many times. He gets it from the right back position and he drives it through. Um, who was it that scored last season? Was it Gakpo? I just took it down and scored. I mean. They, they seriously are going to be a force against us and we need to watch out whether that's come from the left back position and Andy Robertson. Both full backs love getting up. I believe Trent, if he does play right back, I mean, most preferably he is going to be playing right back. He will stick in that right back position. Why are you going to have three centre mids and then have a fourth and go to a three back with Robertson in centre back? I, I can't say it at all. But Darwin Nunes is going to be one to look out for. I know there's all of these memes about him, but he, he is a good striker of the ball. We've seen that it's in James's last season. He's very pacey and he's going to be a lot of our defence to handle. And one mismatch, which I'm genuinely absolutely dreading, is Dan Byrne against Mohamed Salah. Yes, he's linked to Saudi Arabia, but obviously the, the game is tomorrow. He's not going to be gone by then. But Dan Byrne against Mohamed Salah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. Now, if there's one area that genuinely intrigued me as a Newcastle United fan, is Liverpool's midfield. And I genuinely do not know what's going to happen. Whether that means Gakpo's going to come from the front line and drop into centre mid or Curtis Jones is going to start there, which by any means I hope he does because he is not a good footballer. He's had about four good games in his career towards the end of last season. He's getting all his praise. He does not deserve it. Let's be real. But Joel Linton against Dominic Shobislai, Alexis McAllister against Bruno Gimmeraish and generally whoever wants to play um, for Liverpool. I don't know who actually will play there. It's missing match. They have got pretty good depth from forward to centre mid. I mean, they've got who? Mohamed Salah, Gakpo, Diogo Jota, who is a very underrated player, I may ask. We need to watch out for him as well. He's a very underrated player. Gakpo, like we say, Harvey Elliott, Fabio Carvalho. I know he's unknown RB Leipzig, but the list goes on for them. But talking on Dominic Shobic, like he's a man that I genuinely wanted to come to Newcastle so bad. I don't actually know if he would have perfectly fitted in our system, but he's such a good footballer. Like if you've genuinely watched the lad, he strikes a ball like a a prime R9. He's so, I've never seen anyone strike the ball. Nevertheless, a midfielder, but he strikes the ball so perfectly. He's got the free kicks. He's got the penalties. He's got the creativity. He's genuinely so perfect as a midfielder. He is a number eight, though. and He's probably even better as a 10. By no means is he a six. I mean, Christ almighty, no means is he a six. But I would love to, for him and come to Newcastle United. Um, I think we're good where we are now. Someone asked me, would you rather Shobish like or Joe Linton? It's a weird one. In Liverpool's system, 100%, I would rather Shobish like. In Newcastle's system, 100%, I'd rather Joe Linton. But this is something I've just wanted to say. I genuinely cannot say Liverpool come to St. James's Park. Even after last season, I didn't expect them when I was generally sitting in my seat like, what? What's going on here? Um, but no, I, I can't say Liverpool come to St. James's Park and winning. I might get proved wrong, but I, I don't think that will happen whatsoever. It's even Newcastle United win or a draw, of course. But I, I cannot see Liverpool come to St. James's Park and winning. At the back, they are they are solid. I mean, let's admit, there's all this thing about Virgil van Dijk. He's a fraud. He's not what he used to be. Fair enough, he's not what he used to be. But he's still a fantastic, strong, tall, elegant, pacey centre-back. And Alisson is by far the best goalkeeper in the world. It's going to be so hard to even put the ball past Alisson. He generally is so good. But nevertheless, break that uh, defence first. But that's it for Liverpool. Let's get on to Newcastle United. The way that I would love us to line up, I can't see Lewis Hall or Tino Liverman or coming in this early. But I would love them to. But I just can't see them coming in this early. So we're going to start from the top. Of course, we're going to go Alexander Isak. The second best strike on the league. He's so good, man. He's going to get the credit he deserves soon. The, the recognition he needs is 
immense and he really does need it he's such a good striker man he's so elegant with it he just he dribbles like nothing's the matter like he's he's five foot ten he's six foot four and he's the strike on him is unbelievable but we're going to start with alexander Rysak up top left wing i'm going to go harvey barnes i know anthony golden's getting settled into the first team for pretty much the first time these past couple of weeks but I think Harvey Barnes is a better player all around. I genuinely think he's a better player all around. I'm not slating Anthony Gordon. I love Anthony Gordon. But on the right, I'm going to go Miggy. He's, his work rate for the team is unbelievable. Yes, he was a, a bit poor against Manchester City. He loses the ball and he, he is one-footed. This isn't talked about enough. He's one of the most one-footed players I've seen in my life. But we're not going to put that past him because he works hard for the team. And he is a grafter. In three centre-mid positions. On the left, I'm going to go Joe Linton, of course. Centre-mid. Oh, and by the way, that, that, that is if Joel Linton is 100% fit. I know he's back in training with the team. If he's not, I'm going to go... We'll come back to that, actually, because I was going to say Sean Longstaff, but I'd rather Sean Longstaff play off the right. In the centre mid position, or, or pivot, whatever you want to call it, I am going to go Brunigan Rice. So in the middle, whether that's playing back or tracking forward. Um, so yeah, I am going to go Brunigan Rice there. Right centre mid. I am going to go Tonali. But left centre mid, I think... If, if Joel Willick was back, I'd, I'd pick Joel Willick. This is, bearing in mind, we are barring Joel Linton, of course, if he is 100% fit. I don't actually know. We're going to pick Sean Longstaff. Of course, if Joel Linton's fit, we're picking Joel Linton. Right back, of course, Kieran Trippier. Nothing needs to be said. Captain, leader, motivator, absolute legend of this club. He created the pathway for players to come to this club. And he's going to continue to do it as well. We'll always have to respect him as Newcastle United fan. One of the first ever heroes in this team. Right centre-back, Fabian Shaw. Left centre-back, Sven Botman, of course. What, what a player, man. What two players, actually. I don't think Fabian Shaw, just because he's the older player, he doesn't get the sort of credit he deserves. He's just as good as Sven Botman. Yes, Sven Botman's going to get all the... the recognition for being a young centre-back and he is unbelievable for his age doing what he's doing but I think Sven Bot um, Fabian Shaw sorry is on par if not nah he's not better but just on par with each other they are on par with each other anyways left back I'm gonna go Dan Byrne I know there is a mismatch up with Mohamed Salah and Dan Byrne but I do back Dan Byrne. You know, he's been in this team for a while now. I do back him. He's got the physicality against Mohamed Salah. Of course, Salah has got the pace. Dan Byrne, unfortunately, does not have Mohamed Salah's pace. I mean, Christ almighty, I wish. But it's just one of them things. You can't do nothing about it. The team, uh, Sven Botman's going to have to know, or whoever's playing left centre mid is going to have to know they're going to have to help Dan Byrne. It's not because of Dan Byrne's ability. It's just genuinely the, the sheer pace of Mohamed Salah. You can't do nothing about it. And of course, goalkeeper speaks for itself, Nick Pope. But there we have it as for teams. Do you know what? For the score prediction, I am going to go 1-0 Newcastle United. Or it could be even more. It could be one of them games where we score one and they just keep flying in and Liverpool crumble. Or it, do you know what? It, Liverpool could turn me over. It, it's one of them games, boys. It's, it could go any single way. But I back my team. I'm going to go 1-0 Newcastle United. I don't want to be too optimistic. And I don't want to be too, you know, biased. So there we have it. 1-0 Newcastle United. What is your score prediction? What is your score predictions, boys? Let me... What is your score predictions, girls and boys? Let us know down below. I've been Jordy Josh. Thank you very much. There's also a match preview out on TikTok. I'll see you all at the game, boys. The match day vlog will be out on TikTok. Thank you very much and see you later.